Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about empty lung static, uh, how to do it and why to do it. And for those of you who are first time here, my name is Sergey. I am a freediving instructor trainer and on this channel I'm sharing uh, my freediving knowledge, I'm sharing with you some freediving training tips, sometimes a freediving product reviews or just some freediving theory. So if you are a beginner or intermediate freediver, make sure that you subscribe to, to this channel going to be a lot of useful information for all of you guys right and if you already done it thank you very very much okay empty lung static uh, first of all why to do it uh, empty lung static is help you to prepare for the deep dives more likely than just full lung static right why this is the case when you are diving even shallow dives like 10 or 20 meters obviously as soon as you start your descent your lungs is going to be compressed and this is a completely different sensation compared let's say to your dry static when you fully inhale and hold your breath for a couple of minutes so if you're diving deep it's going to be no such sensation it's going to be no sensation that your lungs as full as is possibly can no it's going to be opposite sensation as soon as you're diving even 10 meters your lungs gonna be compressed almost twice so this is why sensation gonna be slightly not slightly it's gonna be quite different and to simulate this kind of sensation you can do your static with the empty lungs how to do it so you do your normal relaxation breathing for a few minutes you do slowly breathe in slowly breathe out try to completely relax no hyperventilation and then instead of doing complete full breath in you doing breathe out so for example i do my relaxation breathing for a few seconds then i go do my final big breath in i completely exhale and then i hold my breath how long to hold your breath obviously this type of breath hold is going to be smaller so in my case let's say this is my morning routine from today I done 30 seconds, 45, 60 seconds, 1 minute 30, 2 minute, 2 minute 30. For me, empty lung static uh, doesn't have a goal to hold as long as possible, right? I don't try actually for a while even try to hold my breath longer than 2 minute 30 seconds. What I'm trying to do is when I do my breath hold with the empty lungs, I try to be completely relaxed. So even for 30 seconds, I do full exhale and then I kind of scan my body is it my like face relax my shoulders relax so I try to become as much relaxed as possible and later on if I do have a contraction let's say maybe somewhere here I do have a contraction and then even during these contractions I try to be as much relaxed as possible I don't want to over tense even if it is going to be a little bit uncomfortable and sometimes it's not a little bit uncomfortable I still try to manage my relaxation so for me empty lung static is a way how to prepare myself for the deep diving but not like how to hold my breath but more how to be relaxed when my lungs is not uh, having this like fullness fullness sensation right so this is for me if you want to just simply increase your static breath hold after a full exhale nothing wrong with it you can try to do to 30 to 40 three minutes i don't know what is the world record with the empty lung static but you can work on uh, progressively increase increase of your uh, empty lung static however like i said again in my case this is not the goal for me the goal is uh, to manage my relaxation during empty lungs breath holds i don't even like looking for the contractions i try to avoid them i try to be nice relaxed and if i still have a contractions i still try to focus on how to be more relaxed so guys this is a, a why i doing empty lung static this is a how we do it pretty simple you just do full exhale and then you hold your breath for a certain amount of time what is my rec recommendation to start with start with the 30 seconds or maybe even like 20 seconds and then increase by five seconds more so for example you do 30 seconds then you do 35 seconds you do 40 seconds 45 you get my idea this is normally what we do with my uh, advanced and master students we start with the 30 seconds and then every next one we do a little bit longer maybe five seconds longer 
recovery time I like to have long recovery time because for me here again it's normally my morning routine for me this time it's not just simply recover uh, because it's probably too much uh, but for me it's also like practicing my relaxation breathing because you need to practicing relaxation breathing is a skill so you need to you want to be better at this you want to be better at your relaxation breathing and for me this two minute it is a long time but for me it's time when i try to be as much relaxed again as possible during my relaxation time also i like to do it with uh, uh, with a nose clip again it's uh, there is a two reason one of the reason is just like feel more natural for me to hold my breath with a nose clip and the second reason again i try to simulate as much as possible the conditions uh, which I'm gonna have when I'm diving, right? So I want to have not this nose clip, I, I use another nose clip, uh, and I have the nose clip on my face, and I try to like imagine that I start diving, and I try to be as much relaxed as possible. Okay, guys, how often to do it? How often to do it? By the way, soon I'm gonna do a video about how often to train in general, but about this particular training, I do it like two, three times per week. I quite like it, so. The time when I'm not going go when I'm not going to the pool training in the morning, I do usually empty lung static. After some stretching, I do some stretching of my diaphragm, and then I do empty lung static. Okay, guys, this is it. This is it. What I was planning to say today. Uh, if this information was useful, don't forget to click the like button. Uh, and if you do it, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Helps my channel to grow. And see you next time.